So today is a historical day for uh, Goa because for the first time in the state, uh, renewable energy has been uh, supplied into the uh, Goa State Electricity Board, into the grid, uh, specifically to the Saligaon substation from where it will be distributed to the villages uh, around uh, this hill of uh, Saligao or Pilen. Even more so the fact that uh, electricity has been generated from uh, solid waste or garbage as it's commonly called uh, is another uh, big achievement and a proud moment for Goa to celebrate. Because uh, I think we are amongst uh, probably the first in the country who has been successful in such an operation uh, to convert municipal solid waste that comes in a mixed fashion uh, into something as useful as uh, electricity, uh, which is done in a very scientific manner. Uh, we use a three-step segregation uh, through which we separate the biodegradables or the bio, uh, the biodegradable, the green or the wet faction from the non-biodegradable faction. And uh, by, uh, through a biomethanation process, uh, we extract biogas and we use this biogas to drive two gas engines which produce around uh, 7,000 megawatt hours per day. Uh, the consumption of the plant is around 4,000 units, 4,000 megawatt hours a day. So which means we will be able to put around 3,000 uh, units back into the grid. Uh, so it's an, it, we are very proud that we are being able to do something like this uh, for Goa. Uh, Goa has been the first state to set up uh, a plant of this nature which is fully compliant with uh, SWM rules uh, 2016 laid down by the government of India. It's aligned with all the uh, uh, specifications that have been uh, uh, that uh, that NGOs have been hounding the government uh, to uh, you know to comply with uh, so in more ways than one uh, I think it's a day for Goa to celebrate uh, it's it's a very small step uh, we've just started trials uh, we've had successful trials today uh, we are going to monitor this over the next uh, few weeks and uh, we will then uh, also have the data which we can release to you and give you the specifics of how much power is being generated. But in a sense, it will be around 3,000 units a day which we will be sending back into the grid in addition to the power that we use for our captive consumption, which is around 4,000 units.